Hey, welcome to the Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use while loops in C++. Now, a while loop is basically just a programming structure that allows us to loop through a block of code while a certain condition is true. So with this tutorial, we're starting into something called loops and loops are extremely useful. And there's a lot of situations in our programs, specifically in C++, where we're going to want to be able to loop over code and do things a bunch of times. So I'm going to introduce you guys to the most basic type of loop, which is a while loop. And we'll sort of see what it does and see how it works. All right. So down here, the first thing I'm going to do before I create my while loop is I'm actually just going to create an integer and I'm just going to call it index and I'm going to set it equal to one. So this isn't hundred percent necessary when you're creating while loops we're just going to use this in our example in this tutorial. Now, when I want to create a while loop, I can basically just say while I can make an open and closed parentheses and an open and closed curly bracket. And this is sort of like the main structure, the main outline for a while loop. Now here's what's going to happen. Okay. Over here inside of these parentheses, I'm going to specify a condition. Now, if you remember uh, learning about if statements in C++, um, this is essentially what we're doing here. So in here, we're putting a condition just like we would an if statement. And as long as this condition is true, I'm going to loop over and continually execute all of the code that's inside of these curly brackets. As you'll see in a second, we're going to put a bunch of code inside of these curly brackets. And as long as the condition up here is true, we're going to keep looping through that code. And every single time we loop through that code, we're going to check this condition. So let me just show you guys this and we can kind of get a feel for what's going on. So up here in these parentheses, I can basically just write a condition. So what I want to do is I'm going to say while index is less than or equal to five. So this is now my condition while index is less than or equal to five. I'm going to execute the code inside of this loop. So I'm going to execute the code inside of these curly brackets. So down here, what I want to do is I basically want to print out the value of index. So I'm just going to say C out index. And then I'm also going to say end L. So we print out a new line and then down here, I'm going to increment the index. So I'm just going to say index plus plus. So you remember index plus plus just adds one to index essentially. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm specifying my condition while index is less than or equal to five. I want to execute all of this code. So I'm going to run my program and maybe you can sort of see already what this is going to do, but if not, we're going to run it and we're going to take a look at what's happening. So you see over here, when I ran my program, we basically got one, two, three, four, five. Here's what's happening over here. I created this variable called index. I set it equal to one. And I basically told C that while index is less than or equal to five, I want to keep looping over this code. So basically what happened was the first time we went through, we checked this condition. So we checked to see if index was less than or equal to five. Since that was true, in other words, since index was one on the first iteration of the loop, we executed this code. So we printed out one and then we incremented index. So index was now equal to two. Then we came all the way back up here and we checked this condition again. So we checked to see if index is less than or equal to five. In this case, index is equal to two. So the conditions true index is less than or equal to five. So we're going to execute all of the code inside of here again. So we printed out two and then we incremented two up to three. And then we came back up. We checked the condition again. Every single time we go through the loop, we check that condition. So before we execute the loop, we execute that condition. We go back up, check it again and execute the code again. Eventually we got to the point where index was equal to six. So we came up here to check this condition and six is not less than or equal to five. So then we just came down, we broke out of the while loop and everyone was happy. So that's essentially what we did. And that's what a, a loop is. Basically you specify a condition. As long as that condition is true, then you're good to go. And we can pretty much just keep looping through all of the code in there. And there are tons of situations where using loops is going to come in handy. And in the next tutorial, we're actually going to build a little game where we can use a while loop. But before we do that, I want to talk to you guys about a couple more things with these loops. Uh, the first thing you need to watch out for when you're using these loops is something called an infinite loop. An infinite loop is a situation where this condition up here never becomes false. So in certain circumstances, like the condition that you specify up here won't become false ever. And then your loop will just 
continually loop through. So for example, if I was to get rid of this line of code right here where we're incrementing index, now index is always gonna be one. And so this condition up here is never gonna be false. So when I run my code, you'll see over here that we're just continually printing out one. You can see the screen keeps flashing. Really what's happening is we're just looping, 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 looping through that while loop and it's never gonna stop. I mean, I could leave this on for years and it's never gonna stop, right? Because that condition is never going to be false. So you always wanna make sure that any conditions that you write with these while loops at some point are gonna become false. Now there are certain circumstances where you're gonna want a while loop, but I would say for the most part, while loops um, aren't gonna be necessary and they can actually be dangerous, especially if you're doing something where you're like creating variables or allocating memory, like you can end up crashing your program or even crashing your computer if you're not careful. So that's just a little tip about infinite loops. There's one more type of loop that I can show you in this tutorial and it's a different type of while loops, kind of like a different flavor of while loop. Um, but before I show you that, I would just want to show you a demonstration. So if I make this int index equal to six, when I run my program, the code inside of the while loop is never going to execute. And that's because before we loop through all of this code, we check this condition first. So before I'm allowed to execute any of this code, I check the condition up here in these parentheses. So I check to see if index is less than or equal to five. Since index is starting out at six, we're never ever gonna execute this code, right? So if I ran my program, you guys will see, nothing gets printed out, right? So we didn't do anything. But there's another type of loop, which is called a do while loop. And I wanna show you guys how we can make one. I'm just gonna cut this and I'm gonna paste it down here. And I need to include a semicolon. And then up here where that while used to be, I'm just gonna say do. And this is what's called a do while loop. And a while loop is essentially just a normal while loop, but it's reversed. So instead of checking the condition and then executing the code, we're gonna execute the code and then we're gonna check the condition. So it's just sort of like the while loop reversed. So now, even though index is equal to six, I'm still gonna be able to execute this code first then we're going to check the condition and it's not going to let me do it again. So let me show you guys what happens when I run this. And you'll see over here, we're able to print out that six. That's because with the do while loop, you execute the code in the loop before you check the condition. And there's a bunch of different situations where you can use uh, while loops or do while loops. And to be honest with you, everything that you can do with a do while loop, you can do with a normal while loop. So do while loops aren't technically necessary, but um, in a lot of circumstances, they are useful. So that's why they're included in the language. But yeah, I mean, that's a basic overview of loops. There's actually another type of loop that we can talk about in a future tutorial called for loops. But for now, you know, practice with these while loops. You can kind of see like how they work. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.